Hey YouTube, it's Plata Stacker one I'm gonna be doing a book review on The Strangest Secret, Secret. Uh, it's by Earl Nightingale. I'm putting my camera on a stand, which I never do. So this is pretty new to me. I'm doing this book review. Silver Nut FL put out a contest a while back and uh, no one responded. He got a little uptight about it, and I know where he's coming from. You know, he wanted some response, and he wanted people to care, and and, and do something, and, and reach out, and do what the contest was asking, and no one really did. So, and I was one of them that I didn't. I delayed it, and you know, I apologize. But I want to do this book review so that uh, Silver not knows that. Uh, we're all supporting him and that we're behind him and we want to do what's best for the community as he does also. So anyway, this is The Strangest Secret, original version. Before I start, I also want to state that um, silver not, uh, I don't want the silver coin. Please feel free to pass it over to someone who might be a little bit more needy or who who can use it, you know, maybe a beginner. I, I appreciate that you're offering a silver coin for the book review, but I'm gonna pass, all right? But I do wanna do the book review for the community. And uh, this is it, The Strangest Secret, original version by Earl Nightingale. So based on this book, this book was given to me by my wife in July of 2008. And uh, I highlighted a few things here they talk about the five percent which silver nut spoke about a, a while back and uh basically the five percent um when you say about five percent five percent you achieve success you know five percent achieve success success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea if a man is working towards a predetermined goal and knows where he's going that man is a success if he does not know where he's going then basically he's a failure yeah Man search for himself. Why do these people conform? These people believe that their lives are shaped by circumstance, by things that happen to them, by exterior forces. They're out of directed people, right? So I was one of them where in the beginning I felt like, you know, growing up in a poor neighborhood with a, a mother, no father, a younger brother. Yeah, circumstances were tough, you know. We, there were a lot of times where we had to eat rice with ketchup. There was no meat, no eggs. Sometimes we went to sleep hungry. It is what it is, right? But I can't reflect on those, on those circumstances and decide to move forward with my life. I can't. I have to forget about that. I learned what I needed to learn and I moved forward to the next level. I have to let it go. If you hold on to that, then there's no way of moving forward. Right? So I've learned to push that to the side and, and live in the present and move forward. Uh, the only man who succeeds is the man who is progressively, progressively realizing a worthy idea. Right? So you gotta have goals, you gotta have ideas, you gotta have direction. Right? A success is anyone who is doing deliberately a predetermined job because that's what he decided to do deliberately. Right, so do what you love. Um, I went into real estate at one point because I like homes and anything that has to do with building homes and homesteads and all that. And I figured I'd learn and, and do it. I did it here in the city, Williamsburg, commercial real estate. I became a broker. I took it to the top. I said, I'm going to be the best I can be at it. But then we had an a, a whole thing with uh, the 2008 um, financial um, real estate uh, fallout and, and that didn't work. So I went back to what I normally do. I work in the fashion business. Anyway, here's the key to success and the key to failure. We become what we think about, right? So we become what we think about. That's key. Because if your mind is 
in good thoughts, then you will have good, good things happen to you. If you're helping others, good things will happen to you. So you have to be in the right state of mind. And that's, that's so true. I mean, you have to focus on doing the right thing by others. A man's life is what his thoughts make of it, right? William James said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that humans be, human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. We need only in cold blood act as if things in question were real and it will become infallibly real by growing into such a connection with our life that it will become real it will become so knit with habit sorry i didn't know it wasn't coming out but here we go with habit and emotion that our interest in it will be those which characterize belief beautifully said this book has motivated me uh, when I first heard about it a few years back and I have never stopped like rereading it going through it highlighting places that I want to remember uh, here's one by jo George Bernard Shaw he says uh, people are always blaming their circumstances for what they are I don't believe in circumstances the people the people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want. And if they can't find them, make them. Uh, it's amazing. How could you not um, take that to heart? You have to make things happen. Things don't happen for us. We need to make them happen. We need to put our minds in, in, a, in a state where we're driven to make things happen. We want to perfect everything that we do and do everything the best to our ability so that we can always have you know, people saying, hey, look, this guy is, uh, he's, he's really good at what he does. You know, let's give him a shot here. Let's give him some income here. Let's help him out, right? So you want to do that. You want to help people. You want to reach out. You want to constantly pay it forward. And, and that's something that you have to practice on a daily, on daily, every, every day of your life. Right? You just got to pay it forward. Decide now what it is you want. Plant your goals in your mind. It is the most important decision you'll ever make in your entire life. This, let me see. Remember these words. Keep them constantly before you in the months of your tests. This is for that 30-day test, which I've done maybe two or three times already. It's pretty hard, but you stick to it. Ask and it shall be given to you. It shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Beautiful words. Words to live by. For sure. Prosperity is founded upon the law of mutual exchange. Any person who contributes to prosperity must prosper in turn. Himself, sometimes the return will not come for those you serve, but it must come to you from some place. But that is the law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So do well, reach out, help as many as you can, and these things will fall in place for you. You'll get all the silver and gold and all the stuff that you desire. I, I'm a lunar guy. I love the lunars. I just recently started um, acquiring some gold pieces, little one tens, you know, best I can do. I can't really do more than that. I, uh, I have other situations I gotta take care of. So this medical doctor uh, pointed out these six steps uh, that will help you realize success. And number one is set your, your defined goal. Set yourself a defined goal. Whatever that goal is, uh, to acquire a thousand ounces, to acquire a hundred ounces, to acquire five ounces, to acquire one ounce of silver or one ounce of, of gold. It might take you a whole year or two years to put it together, one tenth at a time, or maybe even one twentieth of an ounce at a time. But 
You tackle it. You do it. You, you take the baby steps, you know, one step at a time. Uh, quit running yourself down. You know, stop talking negative and stop hurting yourself by saying to yourself negative words that can only hold you down. Think positive. Always think positive. Be optimistic. No pessimism in your life. Drop it. It's not worthy. Don't hold down to past issues that have burned you. Yeah, leave it all behind. You learned what you needed to learn from those past issues. Now it's time to move on. Move on with your life. Stop thinking of all the reasons why you cannot be successful and instead think of all the reasons why you can't. It's obvious. Yep. Trace your attitudes back to your childhood and try to discover where you first got your idea you couldn't be successful. Yeah, that's that whole thing where where your parents tell you, oh, don't think too much about money. Money is evil. You shouldn't have to worry about having so much money that it's an evil thing. Well, it's not because you need if you want to talk about money or currency, it's two different things. Currency is the paper, the fiats that are out there, and money is gold, silver, any precious metal that's out there. That's real wealth, real money. And um, we're taught that uh, paper money, actually. Currency is a bad thing. And to a certain extent, it really is. But in the matrix that we live in, we depend on it. We need it in our lives. We have to have it. So that we could then purchase the things that value, that, that place value on us or help those that, that need it in our lives. You know, I have uh, four daughters and uh, one biological daughter and three stepdaughters and, and I love them all evenly. And I try to do the best I can to help them with whatever I can. So yeah, I need to get those fiats. I need to go work and put the fiats on the table so that I can give them a roof. Or I can give them a birthday gift or whatever it is that makes them happy and hopefully productive adults down the line, right? Which is my job. Uh, number five, change the images you have of yourself by writing out a description of the person you would like to be. Six, act the part of the successful person you have decided to become. Live this way, this new way, and the floodgates of abundance will open and pour over you more riches than you have, ne have than you may have ever dreamed existed. Money, yeah, you get lots of it, right? But more important than the money is the, the idea that you'll have calm and cheerfulness and, and successful a successful life, you know, a happy life with those that you love, right? Which is the most important thing. It's the family and friends that you care for and that are in your circle, you know, positive friends. You know, push the negative friends to the side. You don't need any negativity in your life. Well, pessimist people in your life. Yeah? You need positive people in your life. Help your kids become those positive uh, individuals that pay it forward and that continue your legacy. Right? So you, you, you want to do that. You want to do the right thing always and, and reach out and, and help as many people that you can. Because a lot of people are needy. Uh, uh, I hope that this book review did a little justice. Uh, I'm, I've never done a book review in my life. Uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Silvernut FL and, and his uh, book reviews, I kind of pushed myself to make one. And uh, maybe it won't be the last. I'll try to a few others. Uh, I think it's great for the community. Silvernut has started the chain reaction here and, and, and I hope it helps everyone in the PM community. Lots of love. Signing out. PS1. Always pay it forward. Thanks Silvernut.